independent client, Elise Manuel. Um, this is a completion video. We do have a return trip um, because there's other work to be done in this space before we finish ours. But I'm gonna go over what we've done already. Um, so this was a, um, the, the previous cabinets were removed um, by the uh, client's contractor. Um, they also had some electrical that was moved because originally the range was over here. So they moved the wire for the range plug to here. Also the um, refrigerator used to be here and the refrigerator was plugged into this outlet, which is actually shared with these outlets. So they've gone ahead, they've moved the refrigerator over here. They've moved an outlet into that space. And so um, it's accommodated the new layout. So um, what we're looking at is um, for our return trip um, is going to be doing some um, riser molding, which we're actually gonna use the toe kick that we have on site to go ahead and create a riser. Um, this is something we changed from the original design because the um, original cabinets went to the ceiling. We wanted ours down further so that we'd be below the house crown. But as you can see, the ceiling here has some um, staining from where the old cabinets were. So we wanna go ahead and go all the way to the ceiling to cover that up. The other thing is that um, there was, there's a spot here where when they were doing some electrical in the attic, um, the contractor came through uh, at least the leg did. And so um, they're gonna have to do some patching. And it's gonna be nice uh, for us to just go straight up with the molding to the ceiling. Um, we do have plans where they're going to be finishing off the house crown because there's a piece that they've taken from here all the way back. So they've got lots of material to do between those two wall cabinets. Um, and then this profile was cut so that when they return the house crown back to the wall, after our crown goes on, um, it'll marry up really well right there. So um, let's go ahead and take a look all the way around. Oh, one last thing. We, uh, we meant to order this uh, with flush ends, but instead they're finished ends. So it's got a reveal. So we're gonna get skins for these, uh, this cabinet. They're uh, 36 inch tall cabinets, 12 inches deep. So we'll need two of the skins in order to uh, finish this part out. All right, so got a wall cabinet here, 2736. This is Wellburn Forest in a pumice stain. Got a match three quarter. Well, it's actually a half inch margin there. So we've allowed three quarter here. So the skin goes in, it'll be half inch. So same margin on the window there. We've got another 2736. This one actually has the flushed side. Three inch filler here. Now this is a blind corner cabinet. It's 48 inches wide. We did restrict this door. I didn't show you, but this one's restricted as well. We've got a piece of plywood in here. Um, so nothing will fall through into that voided area. This is restricted for the microwave. Now we, uh, we did this, we ordered it with just a standard ends, use a piece of toe kick. So when the over the range microwave will go in, you'll just see a little bit of this here. And so that saves some, some, um, material money on the original order. So we've done that. Here's our modification for the outlet over the top. And then restricted door here. This is a 24, the restricted door on both ends. All right, down low. We, uh, their, their handles haven't come in yet, so when we return, we'll put those on. But we've got clearance there. These are standard overlay cabinets. This is the only way we could achieve this design, so it worked out really great. Full depth shelf. Again, plenty of clearance here. Restricted door, full depth shelf. Got a three drawer base. Sink base 33, three modifications there. And then 24 for the dishwasher. Here's our waste basket cabinet. Fantastic hardware on this, super rugged. And then we've got toe kick all the way around on the bottom. Take a look at our pantries here. These are 21s. Bunch of shelves there. Then a 37 inch wide cabinet over the top. Now we have our contract here as well as the uh, touch up kits and their remaining knobs. Another 21 inch cabinet here. This one is flushed on both sides. And then more shelves below. 
just perfect clearance for the switch and tail kit. And then here we have a vanity base. I believe this is a 33, 36, must be 36. Single drawer. Now since it's a vanity base, it doesn't come with uh, shelf standard, so we ordered a shelf to come with it. And we've modified the depth. It needed to be ripped down on the saw. And then we've got our shelf peg holes here. Shelf pegs are also in that box above the, the fridge. So they've decided that they're probably gonna use this cabinet for just uh, tall items to store. Um, but the shelf is in here, so if they want to go ahead and use it, they can. Hello. We got scribe there, we got toe kick. Yes. Here's the end, clear of the outlet, and of course they've added one up there. Hey. All right, so at this point, if you have any questions, give us a call. Thank you very much.